Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing Sophia's one year update. That is so crazy that this little girl is a year old now. I'm just in shock. She's just grown up so fast. So I'm not sure she'll be with us for the entire video because she's a one year old and she's very, very busy. So I'll probably be handing her off to Luke at some point, but we'll see how long we can keep her with us. I've got a book here that she's looking at. So. She weighs 19 pounds. She weighs a little over 19 pounds, so just like barely gained anything since the last update. But that's not surprising because she's been very, very active and busy. And also, because of that, she hasn't been as like having time to eat. She's like, I would rather play and like be practicing all these new things that I'm working on than eating. So, and she is officially walking now. It is so crazy to see her just walking around the house like a big person. She took her first step on November 17th at church. We were up, I was up in the nursery with her because she's pretty busy to sit through the whole sermon. And she was watching one of the other one-year-olds walking and she just took a step and then sat down and crawled. But she took her first step there and I got to see it. And then she didn't take another step by herself for like another week, but she did do a lot of practicing walking behind me. So she'd hold onto one of my legs and walk along with me. And she pretty much wanted to walk with me like that for like two whole weeks straight. Like if I walked somewhere, she wanted to walk right behind me holding onto my leg. So it took me forever to get anything done or to get anywhere, but it was super cute. So then she just started taking a couple steps every day and a couple more steps the next day and just increasing it every day. And now she can take like, she can walk across the entire room. She still does scoot on her bum a lot, but she's starting to make walking her main mode of transportation more and more, which is just super cute to see her like crawl. And then she like realizes in her head that she can she could walk if she wanted to so why would she crawl so it's really cute to see her learning all this stuff and when she was first learning to walk she walked best on our bed which is really weird because it's not a stable surface but i wonder if she was kind of like knew it was padded and so she knew that if she fell it wouldn't be it wouldn't hurt as bad as a hard floor but it's funny because she actually learned to stand up on our bed first too so she learned to stand on her bed and to walk on her bed, and then once she was comfortable with that, then she started doing it on the floor. She just seems so, so grown up. Like, it's just crazy. Like, she went from being a baby to now she totally seems like a toddler. And, like, she seems a little leaner. She, she walks. She talks a little bit. It's just like, I don't know. It's like, she goes through these changes where one day she seems like something and the next day she's like totally different It just she changes so fast. Her and Luke have this super cute game that they like to play where they hand something back and forth and then when each person gets it they say thank you and then the person says you're welcome but she says thank you and it's so cute and it is really cute that she learned to say thank you before she learned to say no so <laughs> it's always so much fun to watch them play this game. And then today she actually just started saying uh-oh and that is adorable but more and more every day she adds on a little bit to what she can say and she seems to try to copy us a lot and like if we say something she tries to copy us more. She loves reading books now. I've definitely noticed that her attention span is a lot longer so she's actually interested in reading some short little books. And so about a month ago or maybe a little bit more than that we started reading her a book every night right before her bedtime just along with all the books that she was reading during the day. And she really seems to look forward to her book in the evening. Like she seems to notice that like if we're in a hurry and we don't read her her book in the evening, she kind of knows. And so I love that she loves reading her books because hopefully that'll make it so that as she gets older, she just continues this love of reading and learning. She's been super, super clingy these last few weeks or a couple weeks, I guess. But I think it's partly because she's learning to walk and normally when she is about to take a huge developmental leap, she kind of regresses in other areas. So she's kind of regressed in her independence a little bit, and it's been a little difficult to get things done. She just really wants to be with me all the time, and it's, it's a little hard, but I know it's for a phase. And it also could partly have to do with that I'm pregnant and she I'm getting like further to the end of my pregnancy, and she can probably tell that something is about to change, but she just doesn't quite know what yet. So, and she's teething. So just a combination of all those things, I can kind of understand why she's cleaning. It's just still a little bit hard sometimes. Okay, I just handed her to Luke because she's losing patience with this really, really quickly. <laughs> she's down to one formula meal a day now because I've been dropping a meal every month as she gets another month old. So she's got one meal left that she has her 
bottle before she goes to bed in the evening. And I'll probably just continue to give her that evening meal until I've used up all of her formula ingredients because Lord willing, I will not have to formula feed another baby, at least for a long time, at least until the ingredients aren't good anymore. So I'm just gonna continue to give it to her and use up ingredients one by one, but she definitely loves her solid foods. Broccoli is still her favorite food ever, and it's super cute. She, she loves cauliflower too. We've started giving her more grains, but only healthy grains. We, I can't have gluten anyway, so gluten's not in our house. So she's actually never had gluten before, but I've given her like the kind of healthy pancakes that I make for us anyway, and she's had zucchini bread, but it's been sweetened with honey. And so she has had some grains. I still just cannot bring myself to let her have white sugar, even if it's the organic cane sugar that we use anyway. So I actually just today made her a birthday cake for her birthday party tomorrow, but I sweetened it with honey and used gluten-free flour, and I used cacao powder instead of cocoa powder, and so trying to make it as healthy as possible. Still trying to avoid as much processed sugars as possible because it just hurts me to think about her eating that. So. But for the most part, she just eats whatever we're eating and that just makes it so nice. So I think that's most of what she's been doing. Just the main thing is that she started walking and that she's saying more words, but not a ton has changed since her last update. But I just can't believe how big she seems now and she, she just seems so big and so small at the same time when I see her walking by herself. It's just the weirdest thing. But I'm so blessed to be able to be her mama and that I've been able to be her mama for a whole year now and I'm trying to do the best I can and God's giving me the strength to work on it every day, just trying to become a better mom to her. It's definitely getting a little harder in some areas because she does like throw temper tantrums now that she's a little older but then she's also a little more independent, so it's, it definitely changes a lot. She is just such a sweet little girl, and she's just so sweet-tempered, and she just loves her mama and daddy, and wants to give snuggles and hugs all the time, and she's just so sweet. So hopefully you enjoyed Sophia's one-year update. Even though she's a year old now, I'll probably still continue to do monthly updates if I have time, or at least every other month updates until she's two, hopefully, but we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.